Where did this iron meteorite come from and what's this weird pattern inside of it? Let's talk about Moon Unalista. The Moon Unalista meteorite, or Munio for short, was discovered in Sweden in 1906, although it's estimated that it fell to Earth somewhere between 800,000 to a million years ago, so it's been hanging out with us a long time. One of the reasons it's been able to survive is that it's a metal meteorite. It's made of iron and nickel. And that's one of the reasons it's actually been able to survive on Earth for so long. A lot of stony meteorites would have been worn away by erosion or other forces, but this one's been here for so long because it is indeed metal, and actually quite a bit of it fell to Earth. So far, around 230 kilograms of it have been reported to have been found. My little slice here is only about 433 grams, a little bit less than half a kilo. And these metal meteorites are often sliced like this because of the intricate pattern that's shown in side of them. This is called a Vindmanstaten pattern and what you're looking at here is the result of slow cooling of the meteorite over time. At one point this meteorite was molten, it was liquid floating around in space, but because there's nowhere for that heat to go it cools very slowly over the course of millions of years and it creates this unique pattern. So what happens here is the meteorite gets sliced and then acid is applied to it and that helps differentiate the lines in the pattern between the iron and the nickel and so on. And that's what makes that beautiful Vindmanstaten pattern that is so unique amongst iron meteorites. Interestingly enough, folks who look at a lot of different iron meteorites can often differentiate which meteorite it is just based upon looking at the Vindmanstaten pattern. If you look closely at this Munio, you'll also see a little bit of rust around it, and that's because iron meteorites, when they're on Earth and exposed to moisture, will oxidize and rust. This one has a little bit of an epoxy-like coating around it, and it's probably gonna need a little bit of treatment in the future where I take that coating off and treat the rust and then reseal it. Unfortunately, one of the unique benefits of owning an iron meteorite is they do need a little maintenance every now and then or they will rust on you. And some of them, like Munio, are known to rust a little bit more than others. If you like learning about meteorites like this one, make sure to like and follow. A lot more to come.